Okay, this is a servo contraption I made in an attempt to experiment with using a magnetic compass for 3D orientation. And so this is a MC5883L magnetic compass sensor, a three axis magnetometer. And this is a little LC, a little um, LED screen and we're pointing north right now so this is dir this direction here is pointing north the camera is facing north magnetic north that is um, and I was going to show you the attempt the idea behind this is when it when I start up I, I can reset the propeller here this is a, a propeller chip on a quick start board controlling the servos and reading the magnetometer. And so it initially sets the servos to zero degrees, you know, their center position, and it gets an initial reading. And so now our initial reading is 26. And there's a bunch of numbers up on the screen, including um, the raw X, and Y, and you can see the course right up there, and then the initial course as well. And so then the servos will try to maintain the compass pointing in the same initial heading. But the problem is the compasses generate a significant magnetic field in themselves, and it interferes with the ability for the compass to sense the true magnetic north. But let's just give it a little shot here, and let's try rolling it this way a bit. Trying to maintain its orientation. And some positions are better than others. This is not doing very well here. And it seems like it's, oh, maybe it's finding itself its way back. Nope, it didn't find its way back. It's significantly off from its original position. And the compass just was, does not behave well around all these servos. If I turn off the servos, it behaves much, much better. Um, let's reset it again here have it it'll go back to its centered positions and see I have two servos on the bottom to give it a 360 degree in the yaw direction and so let's just try the yaw a bit here we'll just rotate it in yaw see how well it does so that's about a 180 degree turn there and is it going to try to line itself back up to magnetic north not doing a very good job. Let's rotate it back around, see if it can find itself again. Uh, it kind of finds itself now. This initial heading this time was uh, 24.6, so 24.25 would be the a good course to see on here. Okay. So it doesn't do great with yaw. Let's try giving it a little bit of a roll along the x-axis here. It kind of attempts to stay level. Well, if you, depending on how you define attempt, it moves. Okay, now I'd say that position is worse than its original than the last time we we're back in this orientation. Uh, and now let's try rotating it in the X axis. It does so so. Okay, there's a couple problems I have. One is the, the servos just mess up. This is not a good experiment, a good setup to use a, a magnetometer with. But also, as soon as I rotate one axis, then the other axes are no longer rotating the way they think they are. And I don't have, the program isn't sophisticated enough to keep track of the orientation of the, the servos and rotate appropriately. Um, I like to think I'm capable of doing that math, but I have not done it yet. And so I will, that's something I want to work on. And I also want to try using an accelerometer and gyro instead of the magnetometer and see how that works. So anyway, this was something I've been playing with 
and I thought I'd let you guys take a look at it. And anything, any questions? Okay, then that's it for now.